Hey guys, welcome back to Smart Epic Peoples. So today we're going to be talking about what is an invasive species and how they can be introduced into an ecosystem and a certain example of an uh, invasive species. So let's first talk about what is an invasive species. Many, many of you might be wondering. So an invasive species is basically an organism that does not belong in that certain ecosystem. For instance, the Burmese python in Everglades. It is native to China, but now is in Everglades, Florida. And the damage it costs it to the environment is that it eats all the native plants, species, and animals. And there are no natural predators to eat this, uh, the Burmese python. And this creates an unbalance in that ecosystem, which is very dangerous. So now let's talk about the ways that an ecosystem can get introduced to a new wait an organism can be introduced into a new ecosystem for instance let's take an example of let's see um a certain type of flower like the chinese silver grass for instance so the chinese silver grass there could be seeds in your shoe ridges okay and you may step on one of those seeds without knowing and pretend you're going to like uh taking a trip from new jersey and to california you're taking that seed along with you to an and you're planting it like without knowing to an ecosystem in which it doesn't belong in another way is another way that an organism can get introduced into a new territory or ecosystem is uh purposefully for instance the cane toad example of australia so the cane toad so the cane toad was brought to Australia to taught to kill some pests which farmers were having trouble with. And without knowing, these cane toads uh, quickly reproduced and soon enough now the cane toad is a really immense invasive species in Australia. So now let's talk about the spotted lanternfly because I said that's our main topic. As you can see here, that's an image of a spotted lanternfly. Yeah, they look very pretty. So, where is this pest from? The spotted lanternfly is native to India, Ch Taiwan, and China. And the spotted lanternfly came to Pennsylvania in September of 2014 on a cargo ship from China, and it had laid eggs, which hatched, and soon enough, the invasion had begun. In 2018, the first lanternfly was spotted in NJ. Many people think that the spotted lanternfly kind of hopped to New Jersey. So, what is the life cycle Oh, of the spotted lanternfly so the typical spotted lanternfly lives for around a year they start lay sorry about the cutoff part they start laying eggs from around september to december and they start hatching from around may to june and so if you see um egg masses like here you should scrape them into a ziploc bag filled with rubbing alcohol and as you can see this is an image of the life cycle of the spotted lantern fly so let's talk about the predator such predator slash prey relationship the spotted lantern fly eats a sap from different plants and trees and will usually eat plants that are more economically important such as maple or grape vines this causes the tree to start dying or become weaker praying mantises and spiders will eat spotted lantern flies but they don't depend on eating the spotted lantern flies as they eat a variety of food. However, in China, though, there is a wasp species called the Derenius brownie that is a natural predator to the spotted lanternfly. So why is this bug bad? As I said earlier, the spotted lanternfly is no notorious for sucking sap out of trays and destroying many crops in New Jersey and Pennsylvania. They have no natural predators. And did you know in Pennsylvania, this pest destroyed over $34 million of agriculture? So, how can we help? So, while well, we can try stomping on these pests every single time we see them, another trick which will work is try to use hand sanitizer and pour two drops on them. So, my friends and I actually tried this and it worked. But if you don't want to waste any precious hand sanitizer, you can add some salt in a squirt bottle or water gun and try squirting them. We found out that these kind of paral paralyze them in that way. Then you can stomp on them. So, thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe. Uh, see ya. Bye.